name is Archana Sharma and I work at the CMS experiment. I work on uh, particle detectors. Uh, essentially, I've been working on R&D for the last 15 years. And the last um, eight years, I've been working mostly on the detector, where we built huge, uh, huge size muon, uh, muon uh, detectors. And uh, I've been working here over 20 years. And uh, it's very exciting for me to be here. And I feel really, uh, you know, sort of, it's like a surfer on the way, on the edge of technology and on the edge of, on frontiers of knowledge. So that's really the, the goal, the excitement that comes in uh, working every day with people from different backgrounds. And uh, it's really exciting to see all this very varied team. Everybody comes together and then they all work together for one goal. So my name is uh, Dejinder Vivdi. I'm a professor of physics at Imperial College and I'm the spokesperson of the CMS experiment. So I've been working on this experiment for about 20 years. I was the deputy spokesperson for about 13 years and I've been the spokesperson for the last uh, uh, three years. So I've seen actually all the phases of CMS, right from conception uh, to prototyping, R&D, uh, construction, installation, commissioning, and hopefully in a few months time, uh, taking collision data. So it's a very exciting time. To be able to see all of this uh, happening is uh, in a chance of a lifetime, in fact. So it's a once in a generation opportunity uh, to look at uh, uh, physics uh, at this magic energy scale of the LHC, where all the expectations are that we'll be doing uh, revolutionary physics, making some revolutionary discoveries. Uh, we know that the standard model uh, actually breaks down at these energies. We'd like to find out how it breaks down and uh, so that's what we'll be doing. I'm Mirko Poyar, I'm a physicist, uh, I'm an engineer in charge in the operation group. I joined CERN uh, eight years uh, ago. Uh, I, um, I'm Italian, <laughs> I was studying uh, physics in Italy and now I'm, uh, I'm here to, to drive this machine. Uh, essentially, there's a um, the first part of my activity now is preparing the machine for the exploitation with BIM. Uh, we will be testing all, every single circuit uh, underground alone, then we will do, we'll do some tests, we will perform some tests with all the circuits together, and then finally we'll, we will inject the BIM. Uh, we aim now at uh, completing all the tests by mid-November, and then later on uh, circulating BIMs uh, and colliding them uh, hopefully by the, by the end of the year. I'm very proud uh, of being uh, at CERN. At CERN. Uh, it was my dream since uh, when I was uh, a student at the, at the university. And then I was able to come here at CERN. It's, uh, it's so nice. Uh, also because it is a multicultural uh, environment. Uh, you have uh, people from all the different... Uh, and we have uh, technicians, uh, engineers, uh, physicists. Uh, and it's uh, really a nice environment. So my name is Giora Mickenberg. I'm a physicist from the Weizmann Institute in Israel, and I have been working from, with CERN since 1982. Would you believe that? It's a whole lifetime. I mean, uh, we went through a previous uh, set of experiments in the previous uh, big ring of, uh, called LEP, where we have managed essentially to understand a large part of the fo basic forces, that means the electric and the weak forces of nature, and uh, now we are going to this explorative stage, which will be the LHC machine, that will tell us something completely new because we have no idea what the real results are going to be. So in that sense, it's very exciting. Uh, in terms of my activities, okay, in particular for the LHC or for the ATLAS experiment, during a period of uh, over nine years, I was in charge of what is called the Mugen spectrometer of Atlas, which is a big device with 24 superconducting magnets, uh, one and a half million channels of electronics, uh, detectors built over 40 places around the world, and each physicist you know, wants to reinvent the wheel, so they want to do it a little bit different, but at the end, the whole thing has to fit together to be able to measure particles over a trajectory of 14 meters with a precision of a hair width. And that is a non-trivial thing. But you do what I call management by coffee. 
you drink a lot of coffee with many people until you convince them to more or less go a little bit your way. And at the end, the impressive thing is that with a budget that was defined back in 1997, we have managed to complete the, the work. I'm Adi Ashkenazi. I work here on data analysis for Atlas, trying to figure out ways to know whether data that will come out of Atlas is consistent with uh, the standard model or it implies on new physics. And working here in CERN is great. I get to meet a lot of new people, make new friends. My name is uh, Michelangelo Mangano. I work in the theory group at CERN. I'm a theoretical physicist. Experimental physicists, they probe nature by just looking at it and creating phenomena and what the theorists do, and that's my role here, is to try to interpret this phenomena and help the experimentalists distinguish between what you expect to be there and possible new physics that could be hiding behind uh, the data. And this is what I do most of my time. And uh, being at CERN is a bit like being in a, in a candy store for a kid. You get access to the best of the best, but it's a big uh, responsibility and a big challenge because everybody's looking at you and uh, depending on how you work and what you do, the future of the field, of course, is determined. So I am René Brun. Uh, I came at CERN in 1973 as a staff member, initially to do electronics, then quickly I moved to software for very strange reasons, and I am known to, for the development of several software packages from 1973 to uh, today. I am in charge of a small team, because the key issue in software development is the small teams. It is extremely challenging to work here, as you can imagine. We go to many conferences, workshops, and uh, this is something extremely interesting.